In this video, I'm going to show you how J-Wall absolutely bagged Pavin's gun bunch offense in Man 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping or is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden NFL 21. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Alright guys, so I wanted to dive right in here and I wanted to talk about a little bit about J Wall's defensive strategy against Pavin. And to be quite honest with you, I thought that J Wall um, was truly the better player from start to finish. I felt like the interception that Pavin got on the first drive was relatively lucky. Um, J Wall's guy, his receiver literally stopped running and his receiver was literally wide open. I mean, it was so wide open uh, on that route that I thought it was going to be an easy touchdown. But J-Wall was able to come out, was able to get a stop, and then you notice that Pavin actually came out and right before half came down, and it looked like he was going to kind of get himself back into a positive uh, place with this, as you see this corner route dot right here to the tight end, and then he ends up going down and basically getting a field goal uh, before half. Now what I want to do is kind of skip ahead a little bit here uh, to the second half, and I want you to watch this drive. And if you just kind of take a look at what's going on, what you're going to notice is that Pavin really, I mean, there's a couple of routes here that he does hit relatively well, but you'll notice that J-Wall eventually finds a key to stopping Pavin's bunch. And it's truly to run man coverage, right? Man coverage is really, really good, especially in Mutt, because in Mutt, not only can you... Uh, have the best of the best at each position, but you can also put abilities on them that are going to make them play better, such as One Step Ahead, Acrobat, or Deep Route KO, which is Deep Route K KO is one of the, the tricks that John Beast used to be able to really lock down um, a lot of people in the, in the Madden community. That being said, as I watched this film and as I watched this game live, I noticed that really when, where J-Wall was struggling a lot was when he was running Mabel coverage or zone coverage. That was where it was kind of tricky for him. But when he was running just standard man coverage, it was really, really hard for Pavin to be able to move the ball consistently. So I'm going to jump over here into practice mode. I'm going to give you two setups that I thought J-Wall used. And when he used these two in particular setups, it was actually very, very effective against Pavin's bunch and what Pavin wanted to do. Now, real quick, I do want to remind you that J-Wall is running the 3-3-5 wide defense, and I actually wrote an entire ebook on this defense and how, as you see here, this is an example of one of those setups that I mean, just absolutely pretty much takes every single thing away, and there's nowhere for Pavin to go. I mean, that's an example. So, again, if you want to get my full nickel 3-3-5 wide defense, this is what all of the pros are running right now. We've actually been running this for a while. We've been running this since, I believe, I believe we started running this in June or maybe even uh, May of last season. And uh, it's just been very, very effective for us. Now, um, Pavin's favorite play from Gun Bunch was Z-Spot or Z-Spot and Go. Either one of those has the same similar routes. Um, we're going to show you, again, from Nickel 335. And what J-Wall was doing was he was audibly into Nickel 335 wide from Nickel 335 normal. And the reason why is because it gives you the best personnel you could possibly get on the field. You can get safeties at every major position. For the Bucks, you might want to have Levante David because he is lurker. But you can put safeties in there at every position. And then on the down uh, down on the on the line of scrimmage, you can put your best pass rushers, your best linebackers, your fastest players to be able to have a lot of success. So that being said, let's just dive right in. Now the first setup against this gun bunch is a man coverage setup, and it comes to us from cover two man. And this was the base look that J-Wall was giving. He was spreading his line and he was crashing his line out. And then from there, he was going to man up this right of screen linebacker onto the tight end. And then from that point forward, essentially J-Wall was playing um, basically a roll coverage uh, to the right. So what we saw was this purple zone dropped at 25 yards on the zone drops. And then he would take his other safety and put him into a deep blue zone, essentially a cover cover. Um, cover one defense and the reason he could do this is because he had one step ahead on both of his cornerbacks on the outside so they typically aren't going to get burned over the top um, especially against gun bunch there's really only one route from gun bunch that can burn cover zero and 
Pavin didn't even have that route in his arsenal because he was running the Jets' playbook. So really there was no route that he could call that would be able to really burn a cover one style defense unless his guys just got wide open on a, on a free release or something. Anyways, and then the next setup, or the next thing that Pavin would, or that uh, J Wall would do, and, and this, I thought this was really smart here. There's two things you could do. Number one, you could man this guy up and zone out this guy. Or two, you could leave the linebacker manned up and zone out the lineman. Either way is fine. I probably prefer, personally, to man up the guy on the linebacker and then drop the other guy into coverage because the zone will react a lot better when a safety is in coverage versus when a linebacker is in coverage. And with man coverage, all you really need is them to swat the ball. You know, you're not going to get a ton of picks off of man coverage on a running back, at least in my opinion. So, anyways, this was the basic setup. And what you'll notice is, and the last thing that I, I didn't tell you, before you put your zone coverages out, you want to shade coverage inside and underneath. So, we want to have our zone coverages after we do that. So, they're purple zones, as you can see. But we've shaded our coverage inside and underneath, and we're going to use her right here. And at the snap of the ball, we're just going to basically lurk the middle of the field. And as you can see, pretty much everything's taken away. Pretty much everything's taken away. Now, Pavin's number one thing that he liked to do, and I'll give you one other uh, little adjustment from J-Wall on this, and it's going to be kind of tricky to show you this, but essentially what Pavin would do is basically this setup right here. This is one of the best setups out of the gun bunch in the entire game because Mike Evans would have Playmaker. Well, an adjustment that J-Wall made that I thought was really, really smart, especially with the tendencies that Pavin was giving him, is J-Wall, instead of dropping that guy into a purple zone, what he did was he dropped him into a hard flat. And the reason that that matters um, and the reason that that's significant is because whenever J uh, Pavan would playmaker, he would only really be able to hit um, this route to Mike Evans for just a short little moment. Um, and, and basically the, the flat on the backside would be able to basically deal with the, the playmaker route. So you had essentially everything covered. The one thing that J-Wall was giving up uh, by doing this, and if you actually think about it, is he was basically just giving up a crossing route to the right side of the screen. Because we had two purples, you know, we essentially had this right here. And so the only thing that really Pavin could hit would be this post route right here. So if, if, if J-Wall saw anybody go on a crossing route from right to left, that was his cue to basically go with the crossing route and take that away. So that was kind of his base man coverage. The next thing that you could do with this is you could audible to Mike Blitz O and basically spread your line, crash your line out, and again come down here like this. So it looks exactly the same, right? But but then what is going to happen is instead of being in max coverage where they're sending you know everybody out on a route, now you're sending super, super fast pressure at the gun bunch. As you can see right there, you get really, really fast heat. And so it becomes a chess match. It becomes a chess match of are you in man, if you, are you in max coverage, or are you trying to send people um, at the at the opponent? And again, the press coverage kind of makes everything look the same, gives you the same feel. But there is time that it does make sense to, um, you know, to to not do that. So for example, if you're worried about getting burned over the top. You saw J Wall a lot do something like this right here. Basically, he's his his responsibility is the running back. So if the running back goes out, he's going to go out there and get him. But as you can see now, he still has a deep blue in the middle of the field to be able to protect him against anything over the top. So this was really the core of J Wall's setup. Now, one other way that you could run this defense is you could actually run it uh, essentially like a Mabel coverage. So you're going to man coverage on the bunch or on the the two receiver side is going to be manned up, as you can see right here, man coverage on that side. And then this other side is basically going to be um, essentially the roll coverage, right? That right there. This setup right here is super, super effective uh, because you basically have everything taken away with zone coverage on the bunch side, and then you have man coverage on the left side. It's a very dicey coverage to uh, dissect and you're able to have really, really good coverage. So those were a couple of J-Wall's defensive setups that I felt like were super, super effective uh, in his game against Pavin. Now again, if you want to get my full defensive ebook, that link is in the description of this video. If you want to get a free sample of that Nickel 335Y defense, go ahead and hit me up via text message. My cell phone number is 
216-3644. It's also in the top left hand corner of your screen and it's also in the description of this video. Thanks for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And again, if you want to get the best defense in Madden 21 right now, this 335 wide is absolutely insane. Go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. Or if you just want to get the ebook, that link is in the description. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you on tonight's stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.